Ladies and gentlemen, Rey Mysterio has made a vow to take on all challengers in the Intercontinental Championship, and tonight, Rey has accepted a challenge from the Friday Night Delight. Sean Morrison, the title's on the line in our main event, Mysterio and Morrison. Teddy, 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 I'm your world heavyweight champion. Do you see that? That's my ring time. That's my, that's my interview time. And you got, that, that got Matt jumping me from behind. I mean, there's no telling what he's on. He's hopped up on something. It's probably the same stuff his brother Jeff's hopped up on. What, what are you going to do about this? I'll tell you what. If you got a problem with what Matt just did... Yeah, obviously I do. Well, I say let's sell it in the ring. Huh. Not, 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 for the, not for the heavier title, though, right? No, no, not for the championship. All right, All right straight up, one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. CM Punk versus Matt Hardy tonight. Good. Good. You're going to be down one more superstar. Because I'm going to get rid of Matt, just like I kicked his brother Jeff out of the WWE. Very proactive general manager, Theodore Long, looking to Matt to the spot. Another main event for tonight. This is a tag team match. Set for one ball. Introducing the oh. ring coming to the ring by Ranjin Singh from India, standing at seven feet three inches tall, weighing 420 pounds. Who great? SmackDown, Kali wasn't scheduled to have a match, but boy, did he make an impact on SmackDown. When it was Rey Mysterio and Kane, and as you will hear the referee, warning Kane. I'm telling you, I'll disqualify you, Kane. One more time, that's it. Get him in his leg. Well, Kane that did not heed the referee's warning, was disqualified for his actions against Rey Mysterio. And then the great Kali would have an intervention. It was Kali going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kane. Few can match the strength and power that the evil one possesses. And look at this, Runjin Singh with a Singapore Kane shot across Kane's back. Kali's a little brother, Runjin Singh, brought the Singapore Kane into play. And one of these Albert Pujols watch shots. And that one broke in half over Kane's head. Well, this will have a uh, dramatic moment at breaking point, that's for sure, as the great Kali goes one-on-one -on -one against Kane, and ladies and gentlemen, it will be a Singapore Kane match. I don't know the exact uh, the rules of this, but I know that Singapore Kanes are going to be used. There'll be a lot of things broken. Kanes, literally and figuratively, and maybe bones. What is Kane's breaking point? Put the best in Ireland, weighing 233 pounds. Finley. Well, tonight the great Kali will be teaming up with Finley, and yes, he does have the shillelagh in hand. That's always a concern, much like a Singapore Kane is. It'll be interesting to see how, at least for now, a smiling great Kali and a Finley will communicate. They got a translator. They'll be fine. Introducing their opponent first, weighing 293 pounds. Mike Knox. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Knox is as evil on the outside, perhaps, as he is on the inside. Take a listen to the insanely intense Knox. The average human body shrinks one to two inches over its existence. It's due to compression of bones, yet however minute or severe. Kali, Finley, size is relative. When Mike Knox is the very bull. Did you get all that, JR? I'm trying to uh, process all that information. That's, up, that's above my pay grade. Whoa! Stand for the Queen Green, which is 23 pounds. Hey! He'll come through Hellfire and Brimstone. Well, the Big Red Machine to team up with Mike Knox. After hearing what Knox had to say, you gotta wonder if Knox's middle name is Lecter or something along those lines. This is an interesting tag team matchup. Knox and Kane. 
could make a very impressive duo, and we know that Finley, with all his experience at Cali at 7 3, 4 20, make an imposing duo. Can you imagine the pregame conversation that Kane and Mike Knox had? I bet there was a lot of diabolical laughter involved. They are both mountainous, and they have tons and tons of power. Mike Knox and Kane. But don't count Finley out. He does, after all, love to fight. Finley is as, as aggressive and as uh, unintimidable as anyone in WWE. And remember, Finley and Mike Knox. Whoa, how about this right away? These two have had their run-ins. In fact, Mike Knox suplexed Finley right onto the steel steps. There's a tag. Nice exchange, and we'll, this story will really start to unfold as we see tags made and where this match is competed. Will Finley even be able to make a tag? Doesn't look good so far. Well, the pair of K's, Kane and Knox, would prefer that Finley not make any tags, and Kane trying to end this one early. Kane from the top rope, and Finley wisely gets out of the way, and here comes the great Kali. And Kane wants no part of Kali. Quickly takes him, Mike Knox, who goes down about as quickly as he came in. And Kane getting a shot in on, or excuse me, Kali getting a shot in on Kane. That was an overhand right from about a mile in the air. And look at that big boot drops, Mike Knox. The great Kali, a gargantuan. Oh, and look, the vice grip. The Kali vice grip. And Kane drags his partner out of the ring, or this match may have been over. Can Kane and Knox regroup? We'll find out as SmackDown rolls on.